Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've already done a couple videos on this box, but I finally have it wrapped up, except for a couple little tiny things that I have left to do. But the major elements are all in place and everything works. So I thought I'd go through a recap on what I've got, let you look at some pictures of the build process, and then I'll stop posting videos on my portable LiPo charging station. Okay, so the only knick-knack things I have left to do are to mount a voltage regulator on the external power rail so that I don't blow up my LEDs or, or overspin my fans. And then I have to flush mount my XT60 charging jacks. I ran out of 14 AWG wire, so until I get some of that back in hand, I have to hold off on getting those things wired. And that's really about it. So the major elements are complete. I wanted to recap the requirements real quick so you could understand why I went through the process I went through. And these are self-imposed. There's nothing, nothing about these that I didn't come up with on my own because I wanted them. The first thing I wanted was dual power, so 120 volt AC or DC power between somewhere between 12 and 25 volts. That way I could plug in any of my flight packs if I wanted. Or, of course, a car or a solar panel. I wanted to be able to balance charge two 6L 5000 packs simultaneously at 1C, which this does. Certainly on AC power, there are some caveats on DC power, but it can be done. It, there's nothing about the box that limits it. I just have to have the right input voltage to be able to charge 6S on my chargers. I also wanted to be able to discharge any battery between 3S and 6S at approximately 1C. And if you watched my DIY discharger video, I've accomplished that. That's built and it's in the box. And I'm working on an auto, auto cutoff switch for that circuit too. I've got parts on the way for that. I also wanted the box to be able to carry all of my flight batteries for an entire field day. I wanted to have some electrical monitoring. Primarily I was interested in voltage and current going through the box at any given point in time and I have that. It had to be DIY. I know there are very good commercial options out there, but I just wasn't interested in spending several hundreds of dollars to get one of those. So I wanted mine to be DIY. I wanted a USB charger capable of charging all of my cameras, my quadcopter controller, and the latest cell phones, including my iPhone 11. If you guys have any questions at all about the build process, just hit me up in the comments and I'll answer them the best I can. I hope you enjoyed the series on this box. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And for all you guys who have been around a while, keep up the great work with the comments and thumbs up and, and keep sharing with your friends. I appreciate having you here. Thank you. Have a good one.